One of the most common critiques I hear of music is that the mainstream scene is garbage, and furthermore that it's somehow exponentially worse than that of previous generations. People constantly claim that current performers have carved out a very special type of mediocrity, along with a whole other range of get off of my lawn you damn kids type of expressions. But here is the fact, everything you think that is new music isn't. Into every generation, there is born a group of musicians who simply fall into time-tested ways of turning young kids into superstar performers. So before you go slamming this current smattering of singers, here's a little bit of perspective. First off, let's look at Beyonce, as many people see her as one of the biggest artists in the world, and that somehow her rise to fame is unprecedented. But the fact of the matter is, there's a ton of precedent for her. You don't even have to go very far back to see the time when Janet Jackson was seen much in the same light, especially during her Rhythm Nation 1814 years, and shortly before her you can see similarities in both Donna Summer and Chaka Khan. And if you go back another generation, you can see the exact same sentiments being put towards Aretha Franklin, and you can tie that back to Billie Holiday. So the way that Beyonce carries herself both both on and off stage is just not a new trend. Now, in the only time I will ever utter this group's name in these videos, let's talk about One Direction. Let's see, a group of good-looking young boys with perfect hair and clothing singing other people's songs in an attempt to make young girls scream. Wait a second, are we talking about NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys? Are we talking about New Kids on the Block? Were you talking about the Bay City Rollers or the Jackson 5, maybe the Osmonds? See, the truth of the matter is, even in the 1950s, you can see this same exact exact formula being used. The idea is exactly the same, only the faces have changed. Another musical mainstreamer that's certainly nothing new is Taylor Swift. No, 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 I get it. You can't stand this brand new trend of country music crossing over into the pop realm. So by saying that, you clearly couldn't stand Shania Twain, and if you go along with that, then you hated Reba McIntyre. And of course, with that being true, there's absolutely no Dolly Parton in your collection. I hate to break it to you, but country music and pop music crossed paths all the way back in the early 1950s. You might not like to hear it, but it's still a fact. Finally, let's talk about Justin Bieber. Ah yes, there may be no other artist on the planet that so quickly gains anger all across the world from people that aren't young girls. But when you think about it, the Biebs is just the current in a long line of pretty faces. While many people like to link this Justin to Justin Timberlake, the the fact of the matter is, very early in Timberlake's solo career, he proved that he was far more versatile as a musician and instantly engaged himself to a far wider audience. And I think it's more accurate to compare Justin Bieber to Nick Carter in terms of his style and overall sound. With that in mind, it's impossible not to see the direct connection from Bieber to people like Leif Garrett and David Cassidy, as the fresh-faced young singer is one of the longest standing cash cows in the history of the music industry. Sure, in your mind, those other artists may have attained some certain higher status, but that's nothing more than a consequence of the years gone by. Believe me, in a decade and a half, you'll see the Biebs the exact same way. So in the end, when you inspect the long history of music, you'll see that the trends rarely change, just the faces. And for those who like to look down on the current generation of music as somehow less talented or less original, remember, this is almost exactly like what you were listening to in your teens. Get a little bit of perspective. Hey!